Hello. Hi everyone. Hi, we are um today. <laughs> okay. Today I am joining Yana Muhammad for her 53 kilometers Singapore run challenge. I'll be watching anyway. Yeah, which uh. I'm also participating, but I'm participating the very very short distance, which is just 5.3 kilometers. So if I hit 5.3 kilometers. I'm I can, I am done. Considered, I'm, I'm done. I'm completed. But Yana has decided to join the 53 kilometers, so what? she have to accumulate 15. Uh, 15, uh, 15 so far last uh, day, day lah. Yeah, so she has accumulated 15 kilometers so far, and she has to complete 53 kilometers by the 31st of August. So every day um, needs to clock about three kilometers. Uh, also like that but she just went to Sentosa yesterday right eh? uh, two uh, days ago on the on national day on the 9th of August she went to Sentosa so that's where she clocked the most mileage for her challenge which is super awesome and the time. <laughs> yeah and this is like um, uh, the, the, I mean since we since we did a video together at West Coast yeah. right so this is like the follow-up version of how we have fared uh, since our ketogenic uh, videos uh, diet journey so yeah so we are here at Chinese Garden and believe it or not this is only my third time in Chinese Garden even though I used to stay here which is about 15 minutes uh, 15 minutes 10 minutes from here I used to stay around this area and I've only been here three times in my entire lifetime my in-laws also stay around 15 minutes <laughs> from here um, so like yeah we just decided to come here because uh, Yana stays around here and I grew up in this place in Jurong we are Jurong people so so I thought it would be a nice um, way to clock in the miles today um, so I don't know how long is the distance yeah, today I'm trying to reach 5.3 km if I can. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we will update you uh, on our progress. Uh, so uh, I'll just show you how it looks like. This is the entrance. Okay, so that's the entrance of Chinese Garden, and behind me is the Chinese Garden train station, the MRT. And we are off. Okay, apparently we don't need to pay anymore. So, <laughs> is it like I was con a few years ago? What? <laughs> I don't know. But okay, so we are here. So over there is Chinese Garden, and over there is Japanese Garden. To be honest, <laughs> when I came here, I didn't even know that that they are at the same area. Um, you can remember years back. Yeah, I think the last time I was here. It was probably about 20 years ago. Okay, that's the pagoda, guys. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's an icon that we took for granted here in Jurong. <laughs> we caught some sea otters swimming in the lake area just now. I hope it gets caught clearly in this camera because I tried to zoom in and really do a close-up but wasn't <laughs> able to so I hope it shows up but it was really nice to see like a family of water swimming like I've heard about it in like some parts of Singapore didn't know that they actually lives here too this place is really nice I mean it's really like serene and green and relaxing and it's beautiful it's got a lot of ponds um it's i want to say it's exactly how i remember it but i didn't really remember much of chinese garden the last time i was here so like i was really surprised by like how nice this place is okay let's ask yana how what's the progress so far since um she started ketogenic Okay, for weight wise, uh, okay, only recently about one month ago I started declaring my weight actually. <laughs> okay, uh, I start at 90.5 kg. Okay, let me tell you, I've started this journey since March means five five months. 
for five months. So if I didn't start five uh, months ago, I think by now I will, I will, only, I will already be 100 kilogram. <laughs> okay, uh, this morning when I weigh is 71.6. Wow, so that's... Ah, so I really hope to hit six, the 60s. Uh, soon, maybe hopefully next week or the week after. Mm -hmm. ah. So that's a total of how... What's the weight okay, loss? 20? Almost 20. 20 kilos over 20. a span of... about 19 lah, 19. In what? Five months. In five months? Yeah. And think, so it's a crash diet because mm -hmm. it's 2 kg per month, which is yeah, because people gain and lost about 100 grams per day, something like mm -hmm. that. Um, but like, was there a lot of um, effort on your part? Like, you have to exercise, you have to watch what you eat. Like, what, what's the experience? What has the experience been like? Okay, I don't push myself to exercise or watch what, what I eat. Uh, okay, I only start exercising about one, you know, less than one month ago, three weeks ago, I think. Mm -hmm. When I feel good means I feel lighter and I don't stress myself because okay, when I was heavy, I tried a couple of times to go to the gym, to do Zumba but I get tired easily within an hour like after an hour of exercising, I cannot do anything I'll just sleep or whatever and I didn't burn a lot of calories mm -hmm. because of my uh, non-aggressive movement mm -hmm. uh, So Do you get hungry after an yeah, yeah, exercise? Of course, of course. And after every walk, I will just swing by to the food court uh, to have a meal, you know. To me, okay, I deserve this chicken rice meal because I've already burned certain calories. It's always like that the case. So, so in a way, whatever uh, I've burned earlier, I tend to accumulate back through all this food. Mm -hmm. uh, so, it's not stressful because I start my keto slow. Mm -hmm. And I just here and there. Uh, yeah, that's how it is. Just don't stress yourself. Lah. I also only try intermittent fasting about three weeks ago, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, just don't rush into things. Uh -huh. But it has been like, has it been very challenging in terms of like changing what you eat, like make, uh, like removing the sugars and the carbohydrates? Uh, okay. Has it been like, you know, um, like depriving yourself of things that you used to like to eat? Okay, when uh, okay, uh, when I start off, I make sure I'm full, so I have all my nuts, everything, and all. So because if I don't have anything on hand, uh, on on hand, I tend to look around for snacks. So that part is not challenging. But when it comes to Hari Raya, where the dessert or the food uh, is in front of you, is kind of challenging. But it's okay lah because I understand. Uh, but because if you were to read about health and all, you don't gain weight from whatever you eat in one day, but you can wait uh, uh, from the things that you eat daily. So one day of celebration, yeah, mm -hmm. it's okay actually. Yeah, I'm actually like very surprised with Yana's commitment to the so ketogenic <laughs> lifestyle because like I said I think in my previous video he she has always been a foodie and like um, I actually you know introduced her to keto because I want to see whether you know this is something that um, that it's not as difficult as some people think it's it's to um, you know mm -hmm. it's not as difficult as what yeah. some people think because like you know yeah you cannot eat rice you cannot eat carbs and all that but there are ways to overcome that and like I think she is more committed than me right now in terms of the ketogenic lifestyle like if you go to her Instagram page <laughs> like she's always whipping up uh, smoothies and like she even got hold of substitute for like soy sauce by what is that the amino liquid amino liquid amino things like that so like i was really surprised really proud of her achievement because this is something that i think if it's like what a year ago nobody would can yeah convince her to yes. like do something for her health correct, and correct. like like Nobody, sometimes we hear about it a lot. My diet and size with uh, white regime yeah. all failed. Yeah, and like as for me, um, I uh, we are here at now. Are we at Japanese Garden? I still don't know whether we are at Chinese Garden or Japanese Garden. Okay, so <clears throat> for me, the good the the good thing that I've got out of being on a ketogenic lifestyle was that not only did I lose weight and I was able to reverse my diabetes but I also got pregnant <laughs> <laughs> so at the time of this video right now I'm already reaching 24 weeks which means I'm 6 months so you can imagine how long the lapse was since our last video we were supposed to do like a follow-up video a month after 
after that West Coast video but uh, turns out <laughs> I conceived I got pregnant and then um, yeah uh, it was just trying to find time and it getting it adjusted to the pregnancy and all that so like I I wouldn't say that because I was on keto that I got pregnant but I think because I got diabetes and then I had to go on keto to manage that diabetes and then subsequently I lost weight as well I think it is the weight loss that also helps me conceive so that's basically how we have progressed on keto so far and uh, yeah the journey continues on